from the Penn Libraries. Thank you so much, Anu, and thank you so much for your support throughout the year. In the autumn semester, my students were doing blogs. This semester, we're doing a collaborative work, uh, uh, WordPress site. So I'm also terrified of being um, gonged, so I wrote my um, stuff down to give myself a little sense of control, although I'm notorious about not about going off text as I am doing right now. Okay, so good morning. Um, thank you so much for inviting me here today. I've been using WordPress in my seminar on Japanese prints, and my goal here was to combine um, object-based learning with digital innovations, and I wanted to use WordPress as a forum to present student research and build their practical skills. So my seminar uses prints from recent gifts to the Kislak uh, collection. I've been working with the library for the past few years to build the collection to support teaching from real things. Over the past three years, we've received three substantial collections of Japanese prints, a combined total of over 700 works, both in hand and promised, and over 500 volumes of related research books. The donors, the library, and I see this as vital in training the next generation. My class was designed to give students the opportunity to work directly with selected prints to catalog and interpret them. And I should say that most of these things come to the library with only minimal cataloging, the name of the artist, maybe the title, and, and that's basically it. And this is often the case when collections are received at institutions and first job is to catalog them. So our WordPress site will serve as an online catalog of their research, and I see this as a first phase in a multi-year process. I designed the various uh, assignments to build upon one another and to teach essential skills in cataloging, giving presentations, and scholarly writing. Their first task was an attribution problem, where I gave them an uncatalogued print and said, go out and find everything you can about this print. Um, within a couple of weeks, they had all done that, and they'd done what we in the museum trade call the tombstone label, uh, which is this essential data, and they've uploaded it to the website. That's the first critical thing that you need to do with each work of art. To develop our eye even more, we worked with the Philadelphia Museum of Art to see even more prints, and then we um, worked toward a five-minute talk on one print for a public uh, symposium we held here on March 19th. Each student presented their research on one print. And this uh, short form of analysis um, became the basis for what is now a catalog entry uh, on the site. And we're closing the class with 20 minutes conference style presentations of the kind with which we are all familiar. Um, and it's a really important skill to learn how to give a 20 minute talk and to stay within the um, bounds of that talk. Let's see if I make it. Um, and this also meant that they further did further research and came up with information about bibliography and comparando, which is what you can see has been added to this particular entry. And our goal is to have this for each of the ones they worked on. So my project here was really combining um, pedagogy and also presentation. To finish, and I was gone, uh, we can see um, this is what they had to say. And I think one of the things that's really critical about building a website is the students have a stake in it. They have a really big sense of this becoming a public project. But they also said that it gave them a sense that their research was real and it really mattered. And I think that's really critical. So finally, we're going to go live, I hope, this week. So um, I hope you have a chance to look at their terrific work. Thanks. <laughs>